Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to Cinefix. Today, we are talking about sidekicks. Oh. Yeah. Surprise. <laughs> we, <laughs> we didn't discuss beforehand. You guys just yeah. show up and wait for me to say something, right? Yeah, yeah totally. Yeah, I've been here since last night. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sorry I'm late. So, uh, so sidekicks. Yeah, so sometimes sidekicks are, they're so much better than the heroes that they're sidekicking for. So, we're gonna talk about sidekicks that just outshine their heroes. Right on. All right. Yeah. Do we need to cut while we think it since I sprung that topic on you? No, I got Ready it. to go. I got mine. <laughs> okay. I got mine. What do you got? Okay. Short round from Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Mm -hmm. Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, granted, is one of the lesser Indiana Jones movies. Uh, and part of the reason is because they tried to make it family friendly. And in doing so, they added short round. And in doing so, to make, they also made it like terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is a terrifying, family-friendly movie. But it was also awesome. Like, when the guy's, like, ripping the hearts out sure. and still beating, I always thought that was so cool. So a short round is completely awesome. When, when Indiana Jones needs help, short round is the one that saves him. When the kids are trapped, short round's the one that saves them. He saves the children. When there's a bunch of bad guys, Indiana Jones is getting his ass kicked, and short round is beating up everyone with his badass martial arts yeah. skills because... Short Round is awesome. He's really cool. I mean, and as a kid at the time, as a little kid, watching another little kid be badass, it's like, yeah, I could totally do that. I could totally beat up all those guys. If I was in this situation, I'd be Short Round. <laughs> <laughs> at one point, my mom came into my room after I was really into Indiana Jones, and I was tying blocks of wood to my feet. Oh my God. And I was like, I'm just going to take the car out for a drive. <laughs> it's going to be nice. fine. But yeah, I, that, that's the thing about Indy in that movie, is he has this air of, like, he's this arrogant adventurer, and he's just charging headlong into stuff, yeah. and Short Round's like, eh, eh, okay, I'll fix it. Yeah. <laughs> and that's why they couldn't have him in the next movie, because they knew that he would just take over. It would be the Short, short Round and the Last Crusade. Yeah. Why isn't there a short round <laughs> movie, yeah. by the way? What no. happened to short round? He's probably got like a wife and kids and he's in sales or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, became sense. tall round. Yeah, he became, <laughs> he became nice regular size <laughs> round, I guess. I, I have to pick the, the only choice for me. I mean, there was a handful of others. Like one of the, one of the things that I thought about uh, is uh, like the combination of Ron and Hermione. <laughs> but I feel like that's that's like a, a, a Ron Myony. Yeah, Ron Myony is sort of like, Her that mom. doesn't really count. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Samwise from Lord oh, of the Rings yeah. oh. is Absolutely. like the ultimate sidekick. One, one of the things that I like best about Samwise is that he knows exactly who he is. Mm -hmm. Like he knows that he can't carry the ring. Mm -hmm. Like if I can't carry the ring, but I can carry you. Like that, he's just there in support of you know the guy doing the heavy lifting, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, and all he wants to do is save save his home. Yeah. Like he doesn't want to go at all, but he knows he has to. And I think that's really important in a sidekick, um, knowing their limitations and what mm -hmm. their role is. Like Robin never really had that down. He was always like, "I'll take care of it, Batman," and run it. <laughs> right. I was like, no, oh, oh, "Now I gotta save you." Yeah, Robin yeah. is actually a terrible sidekick oh, because oh, he's absolutely. constantly oh. making Batman's job harder. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sam Wise is like, "I oh, yeah. know my place here, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna do it to the best of my abilities," and he kills it. And he knows how to make a good stew. It with sure potatoes. Does. Yeah, he brings the spices with him. Yep. He sees right through Gollum. Yeah. yeah. I mean, when it, when you really look at the story, like Samwise is so much more the hero than Frodo. Frodo would have failed a million times oh, over absolutely. without Samwise. Yeah. I think is that, that is that all for Samwise? <laughs> I, I mean, I mean, he's badass. We've, yeah. we've established that. I don't that. Th I don't think we can talk more about Ron Myony because yeah. Ron Ron Myony has sort of the same thing going. Like they know they understand they can't take on what Harry has to take on because of Harry's sort of unique position yeah. in how in his fight against Voldemort but they're there doing exactly what they need to do but yeah. the the only reason that that doesn't cuz cuz Harry part of what ha makes Harry so good as a hero is that he's not the best or smartest or any of that he's just brave and loyal yeah right. and so that's that's sort of Harry in a way like it's three sidekicks teaming up to defeat Voldemort in some ways. Yeah, I yeah though, though Ron was kind of a dick during the Triwizard Tournament. He was. And again, uh, when they're hunting all the Horcruxes in the Deathly Hallows, he's kind yeah. of a dick too. Yeah. So. Ron, to me, was always like the guy with the heart ring. <laughs> yes. Where you're like, I don't really know what you're yeah, for, yeah. but you seem important. You seem reason. to complete, like, it, yeah. look, we would like tip over if we didn't have you, but yeah. outside of that. Yeah. 
So Ron, so so Samwise narrowly edges out Ron Myany. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> just, mm. <laughs> uh, who are you got, Casey? Uh, well, you know what? I gotta go with who, in my opinion, is the poster child of the kick-ass sidekick, and that's Kato. Kato, uh, Green Hornet Kato? Green Hornet Kato, yes. Not Inspector Clouseau, Pink Panther Kato. Well, while Pink Panther Kato does help out with like training exercises, sure. I, I think that the Green the, Hornet Kato. The near constant sneak attacks. <laughs> yeah, is which, hey. Perfect. Yeah, you for, gotta keep your weapons sharp. Yeah, you know? exactly. But, uh, but no, Kato and Green Hornet, I mean, two, two main reasons here. Okay. One, he carries a lion's share of the load oh, yeah. in, in just doing shit. And it's not just like, oh, he's the kung fu master, so he's got to beat everybody up. No, he's even opening doors. It's like, like Green Hornet's like, kr, kr, can't open this thing. Yeah. Kato's like, right. let's go. But also, he's so much more iconic than oh, the yeah. Green Hornet. When Kill Bill Volume 1 came out and uh, you had to fight the Crazy 88, they weren't wearing a bunch of green masks, were they? No. no. They're wearing Kato masks. They look just like Kato. Tarantino, <laughs> Tarantino only rips off the most obvious and iconic. So. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you, you gotta know Proof. that. Proof. <laughs> but yeah, and then and then of course Michelle Gondry makes a, a film adaptation from the show. Yeah. And which you're uh, gonna make us talk about now. Michelle Gondry recognized that the Green Hornet show from the '60s was the Kato show. Right. Yeah. And so well, it was he, literally called the Kato show in certain countries. Right. Exactly. So he so he recognized that and was like, no, no. In the movie, we're gonna point out that Kato is the badass. He's the master, the sidekick, the the barista, the engineer. Like he's everything. He built that car. Yeah, he, was, he did. Yeah. He literally does everything. And they even had this argument where Seth Rogen's character is like, "Hey, dude, I'm the hero, so I'm like, I'm the better one." And Kato just kicks his ass all over the you know the house. And so we've got the sidekick that is just straight up better than the hero that he's sidekicking for. We got the sidekick that picks up all the slack that the uh, sort of sometimes. Uh, a little more oblivious hero might just charge right past, uh, and then the the sidekick that knows knows what his purpose is yeah. and like really specifically fills that purpose. So what do we any other honorable mentions for sidekicks? Penny from uh, Inspector Gadget. Penny yeah. from Inspector Gadget. That's, Excellent sidekick. That's the sidekick that I sort of grew up with because I yeah. watched a ton of Inspector Gadget cartoons when I was a kid. That's why I like Inspector Clouseau's Kato better than, than Green Hornet Kato because it's like the sidekick to the complete idiot hero <laughs> that's is always thing. my favorite. It's like, like you make a hero that's a complete idiot. It's hilarious, but it's also just so strange. But the sidekick is the, gets to be the real hero. That's and true. there's something about the hero, there's something about Inspector Gadget that he, he ends up, yeah. I mean the man is a cyborg. Freak of I don't nature know. somehow. Like I don't know how. I don't know how he hasn't killed a bunch of people with like all of his malfunctions. Yeah. yeah. Well, if it were anything besides a Saturday morning cartoon, I'm sure he would have. Yeah. All right, everybody. That's what we think about sidekicks. Let us know down in the comments below who is your favorite sidekick and why. Click like, subscribe, stick around, Cinefix for more movie stuff. Uh, that's the end of that sentence. I don't know why. God damn it! I just shut down completely. Hold on, two seconds. Sounds like you need a sidekick. <laughs> I think I do. Casey, step Casey, in. Step, can you step in and sidekick this outro? <laughs> sure, buddy. <laughs> well, that's it for today. Please leave a comment down below and tell us who your favorite sidekick is. And of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Cinefix for more awesome movie content. We'll see you next time. Bravo. Anyway, the best part about that is that it implies that I'm the hero of Cinefix. That's a good point. I mean, I you think are that's Cap kind of understood. Yeah, you're Captain Cinefix. Yeah, I'm you kind of are. Okay. I'm the green horn, the useless green hornet. <laughs> <Yeah>. Essentially. <laughs> <laughs>